Hi, this video is going to cover uh, Massachusetts inmate search. Uh, could be jail records, prison records, anything uh, criminally related. Uh, so we're going to go over the databases you have available to you in the state of Massachusetts. Uh, to get started, visit MassachusettsPublicRecords.com. I'll have a link in the description. You can click on that or just type it into your browser. On the home page, you will notice a large database of uh, public records available in Massachusetts. So some of these could be useful, maybe not now, maybe in the future, but there's a, a quite an extensive list here. This video is going to focus though on uh, researching inmate prison uh, jail information. So what we have created is a page that's um, kind of focuses on a particular search and these would be the most sought after types of searches, types of records. So if you hover over more records, you'll find anything from background checks to property records. So I'm going to go ahead and click on inmate search. And what you'll notice here is <clears throat> you have your uh, Massachusetts Departments of Corrections database. This would be a prison inmate search here. So you're able to locate prison records. Um, and then if you scroll down, what you'll find is county level resources. So we covered the most, the top five populous counties at this point, maybe we'll add more uh, in the near future. And what you'll find here is jail records. So a local sheriff's department might have arrested somebody, maybe let them go the next day. Uh, it's going to be different versus looking at prison records because prisoners are typically serving a sentence over a year. Anything under a year, they're typically going to stay at a local county jail. So you have a couple of things to consider here when uh, re, uh, looking for an inmate or uh, f finding arrest information uh, and uh, things like that. One, one other thing to consider is if you want to look deeper into a specific arrest, uh, what you want to do is, uh, let's say you found uh, somebody got arrested at a local sheriff's website as an example, or even a prisoner that's uh, uh, in the Department of Corrections. And what you can do is, <clears throat> because everybody has to see a judge, either before they put, are put to prison or after they get arrested, you can go to the court records page and you're able to utilize multiple resources uh, available here to you to actually look uh, a little bit closer towards a particular case or a particular arrest or a particular inmate. So you have quite a few options to work with here. A uh, uh, third option you have available to you is uh, doing a name search on top. Now this is a private database. It uses public records, but it doesn't just look in the state of Massachusetts. Not It doesn't just look at the county level. It goes outside the state. So it pulls records from multiple states and multiple databases. So let's say somebody has a record in, uh, let's say, Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota, uh, maybe Illinois, maybe uh, Tennessee. Let's say they had an incident there. And if you're just looking in the state of Massachusetts, maybe at a county level or a state level, you're not necessarily going to see what happened a few years ago. Uh, and people move around nowadays quite a bit. So it's definitely something to keep in mind if you want to make sure you have more bases covered and you're processing more information when it comes to your research. Uh, so once again, it's MassachusettsPublicRecords.com. Come on down and start on your Massachusetts inmate search. Thank you.